Hi, my name is Rohit Sharma and today we are going to see how to configure a SOX proxy in BSA. In order to do that, you need to ensure that you have already installed a SOX proxy server. Also, the socket idle timeout for SOX proxy server should be set to zero. So let's see how do we add a SOX proxy server in BSA. As you can see, I have now logged into my BSA console. In order to add SOX proxy, we'll go to configuration, infrastructure management, we'll click on proxy servers, right click new proxy server. We'll put a name here, the host ID, the port that the SOX proxy server is going to use and in case the proxy server is using a username password, we can put it here. The resolve hostname parameter is set to true by default. This means that the host names for all the target servers will be resolved at SOX proxy. In case you want this name resolution happen on application server, you can set it to false. For this demonstration, we'll keep it to true. After adding all these details, we'll click on finish. As you can see, the SOX proxy server is now added in BSA. Now, if you want certain targets or jobs to use this SOX proxy server, you have to configure network routing rules. So as you can see here, the network routing rules are present. We'll right click on network routing rules. We'll create a new rule. We'll put a name here. Hit next. We'll define a condition here. So for this demonstration, I'll just put a condition on the target name. So let's say target host contains some, some value, target name, contains, let's put BMC here, hit OK, next. So as you can see the SOX proxy that I have created is now showing here. We'll add this in the rule, hit finish. Now. The rule I have set, it means that if a target where name contains BMC, if any job is executing against that target, it will use the SOX proxy server that we defined. We'll hit close now. So this is how you can configure a SOX proxy server in BSA. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.